video camera uh welcome into this tuesday afternoon stream let me see if i can figure out my webcam we did it um yeah welcome in how are you doing what's up pixel look at me double cheeked up on a tuesday afternoon i have no idea what that means uh double cheeked up huh interesting stuff <laughs> but yeah uh we're gonna be playing more zero escape um figured i'd do a uh, extra stream because as many people might know now that i am unemployed so i have uh i just want to like play games for a little bit yeah and uh this game's kind of getting crazy let me talk about what happened in the last one. So technically it means large booty, but you just use it to mean when people do things on Tuesdays that they don't normally do. I am double cheeked up then. I see. That's great. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Uh, let me talk about the most recent stuff that happened in this game. Pretty crazy stuff. Uh, we hit the Dio ending. Uh, you can see Dio's a uh, little portrait here, which means you hit his ending. And what does that mean? That means Dio, Phi, and Sigma escaped from the place. Hey, Raichana, how you doing? Welcome in. And we learned some stuff. Uh, it was crazy because like, I was totally not expecting to actually get out with Dio and Phi. Um, especially Dio, right? But then, all of a sudden, uh, Phi, like... Fi like gets knocked out for a second and then she asks us which she basically asks us which loop or which timeline is this and that's a that's a bomb right there that's a bomb to drop because we didn't know specifically that there were different timelines here but we were like pretty darn sure right i mean just based on how everything's been going and then we also learned that Dio is officially part of Myrmidon, which we definitely suspected already anyways. And his mission on Myrmidon was to infiltrate the place. And what else? What else did you want to do to infiltrate? I don't exactly remember what his entire mission was, but Myrmidon uh, helps out the cult Free the Soul. Where uh, Free the Soul is like some... Uh, yeah, a cult where everyone is basically equal, which isn't actually the case because Dio got sent on the mission because people saw his merit. So I don't really get that part because, I mean, it doesn't seem that equal then. Uh, but basically, that's the idea of Free the Soul, where everyone's equal, uh, no one's better than one another, things like that. No war. And then... Once he tells us all that, Phi is like, okay, cool. You still didn't tell me what we what I asked before. Phi asked him, what is the password to the number zero bomb? Which, in this timeline, in the current timeline she asked that, we don't actually have a number zero bomb that we know of. We didn't see one. But, um... But, Phi, uh, we have seen the number... One, two, and three bomb, or zero, zero, one, and two bomb, and um, those are in a different route. And I assume those are the bombs that Fi is talking about. So what I think is, is that I think the bomb route, the ones we found the bomb in, I think that route is a the the ending route, right? And the uh, in some other routes, we just find the passwords to the bombs. All right, so this is the Dio route, and so I said we'd do this one real quick which it's probably pretty quick and then maybe we'll do one of the different locked ones all right so this one we betrayed right we betrayed clover oh brutal and here we're gonna ally with clover we told we told clover we would ally and we definitely lied to her and betrayed her it was a logical choice, because Phi and Dio are 100% making it out. And I still think that's going to happen.
door ground open and I stepped out. All around me, other. I think I already wait. skipped this. Okay, wait. Dio. Oh, Dio's already leaving. Five's voice echoed hollowly across the room. I followed her eyes to the number nine door. And to Dio. Dio. So he's going for it. I broke into a run, hoping foolishly that I might be able to catch him. No, he's going to try and open it. So it has come to this then. What's going on? He hasn't even seen the results yet. I, it took only seconds for Temyoji and K to explain the math to her. No! Points have been assigned or subtracted accordingly. Please check your braces. We don't even get to see we don't even get to see the uh points. We don't even get to see the board. It doesn't matter. The announcer's voice hadn't even faded when Dio reached the door. With a grunt, he swung the lever down. Oh no, I thought Kay was gonna stop him. Yes, it's opening. Wait! There's no point in trying to stop him now. The door has already opened. Stop him because he's a jerk. Let him die. Make him die with us. Deal left through the door without so much as a backward glance. Five paused in front of it, then turned to look at me. What happened? I, I chose ally. I made a promise. Clover trusted me. Sigma. Oh, look how happy Clover is. I see. Makes sense. I guess that's how this ends then. You had to make a choice that was right for you. And now, I have to make the choice that's right for me. Goodbye. Goodbye, Phi. Sigma. Phi turned, her eyes sad, and followed Dio through the door. The number nine door has closed. This ends the nonary game. All right, GGs. Thank you for your participation. As the game is over, all doors other than the number nine door have been unlocked. Escape is not possible. Please enjoy your stay. Well, that's it. There's nothing we can do now. We can only hold out hope that help will arrive. Wow, wait, we're going longer than just uh, GG? Sigma, thank you for for choosing Ally. Yeah, I definitely never chose Betray before, Clover. Well, a promise is a promise, right? What about Luna, Alice, and the old woman? Who killed them? Maybe one of the people who just escaped. Or maybe one of us. Well, there's one other person. Quark? Oh, yeah. God, Quark. You're right. I still have to find Quark. We only ever ally. Copium. All right, Shauna, how's uh, your anime been for this week? I rather enjoyed the Bookworm episode as usual. You know, I, I noticed something with Bookworm. I mean, this is just like an aspect of bookworm that um is interesting to me is that the first type of bookworm was slow and it was okay with it right because the entire first half of oh man maybe i shouldn't talk about it too much but uh, i won't go into detail but the entire first half of the episode was basically just about how mine was lonely and everything that happened in the first half uh kind of like went to show that and we spent an entire half episode on it and we didn't have to but it was nice because i think it really gives you the picture of i think it really gives you the picture of how lonely and homesick she is you know i feel like a lot of shows were just been like uh 
made it not so much of the episode. Because I really feel like not a ton happened in the episode, and that's fine. We had a pretty good conversation with some other people, though. You watched the new one twice already. Very nice. Very nice. What I started this week, um... What, what I started this week was your boy Kong Ming. And that show is fire. If you like... Uh, did I already talk about this on my last stream? I don't remember. I don't remember when I started it. If I started it before or after Saturday. But... Your boy Kong Ming uh, is so good. It's on high dive. Yeah, it's on high dive, unfortunately. But yeah, it's... If you like Hina Matsuri or like Devil's a Part-Timer, uh, any reverse Isekai, I think you'll like your boy Kong Ming. It's so good. And it has your boy in the title. How can you not like it? And it's got such a good OP. I... Oh. The characters are just so much fun. Um, some shows that I've dropped are in the heart of Konoichi Tsubaki. That was a ninja's ninja girls doing cute ninja girl things. I dropped that. Thought it was very boring. I dropped. I dropped. I dropped a Haran, a Haran san, which is the little rom com where the girl has no idea what personal space is. Didn't wasn't particularly into that. I think the next on the chopping block is. Possibly Shikimori. Because I find that the characters in that show are very, very boring. I thought maybe the episode 2 they would have more expanded on the characters, but I feel like they really didn't. So. You couldn't get through an episode of A Harden. I don't blame you. You haven't watched episode 2 yet, but you didn't care for episode 1. Yeah, I thought episode 1 was more going to be... I, th I knew episode 1 was going to be like, uh, let's introduce some of the characters and let's show off how cool Shikimori is, right? Um, and, but, and I was like, alright, well maybe they'll expand more on the different characters, what kind of personalities they have. And it turns out, none of them have personalities, so they're just all there. Especially the main character. He is so boring. Suddenly full of energy, Tenmyoji leapt up and took off for one of the warehouse's exits. That left only myself, Clover, and Kay. We stared at the number 9 door in silence. It would never open again. What else could we do but stare? Oh, here's the, here's the game over. Alright, GG's. But shows that have still been excellent. Spy Family, obviously. Love Spy Family. Super, super fun. Super silly, but super fun. I love it. Anya's just like the best. And then I still love Kaguya. Kaguya-sama. I think that show's amazing. And then what else? Let me check my list real quick. Book warm up. Oh, summertime rendering. Uh, I talked about this on Saturday, but I, I cannot wait to see more summertime rend rendering. But that's on Disney Plus. I think I talked about summertime rendering on my stream, but if I didn't, summertime rend rendering is on Disney Disney Plus, which I wish it weren't, because uh, it's like Netflix, right? It's in Disney Plus jail, not Netflix jail now. And then Komi-san's fun. Tomodachi game is fun. I don't love it, but I think it's fun. I think it's good. All right, Birdie Wing girl, Golf Girl Story. This is like, uh, it's a golf anime with a, it's like a sports anime, golf anime, right? So it's like a lot of, there's a lot of classic stuff in it, a lot of classic sports anime tropes. And honestly, I really like it. <laughs> I think it's really fun. Tomodachi game uh, could be fun. I think so. I feel like it's kind of sad, though. It, I mean, it's, like, kind of messed up because it seems like friendships are going to be destroyed and things like that. I'm going to go here. How do we stop Phi? What happened in this? 
Was this my... This is not my first route. I went through the middle the first time. This is, uh... This... I went this side second. Let's go to the, this lock, because there's only one square below it, so... But, uh, the golf... The girls' golf anime is so fun. It's like... If you've seen Black Lagoon, imagine Revy golfing. Who's basically just, like... Kind of a... Kind of a hard ass a little bit, or a little badass, you know? She's uh, really cool and stuff. <laughs> she doesn't follow the proper techniques in golf and everything. Or maybe like a little Happy Gilmore-esque. Happy, Happy Gilmore doesn't know how to golf, but he's still amazing at it. I don't know, it's super fun, I love it. Luna and I, okay, so what, can we talk about this route a little bit? What happens here? Uh, who is I against? This is an ally side. We be um We betrayed Alice in the first round here. Okay, we betrayed Alice and then went through the red door which was the control room. What was the control room? I do not remember the control room at all. And then we allied with whoever we were up against. Oh boy, I do not remember this. Oh, Alright. Luna and I stepped out of our AB room a little later than the others. I'm assuming Luna and I are together. Against... Someone. They were already gathered in front of the projection. Awaiting the results of the... Awaiting the announcement of the results. You chose ally, right? Uh, apparently. I don't, I don't actually remember, so... <laughs> Are you sure that was okay? <laughs> yeah, of course. Bye did too. Ah! Okay. So... Let's, uh, let's do this real quick then, I guess. I don't know. I mean, this isn't particularly helpful, I don't think, because I don't even know our point values or anything. Or I don't even know who's up against who. Well, let's do it anyway, okay? Let's do it anyway. We only know our group, really. So, presumably, it's Sigma and Luna. We're at six points. We betrayed Alice. I believe Vi is at six points because we paired with her in the first round. We chose Ally. Presumably, Vi betrayed because the decision point is called, how do you stop Vi? So, she's going to get nine here. Luna should be at... Oh, is Luna going to die? She's gonna die? Is she at one? And she's gonna die here? I don't know. We'll see. You sound pretty sure of yourself. Oh, it's not confidence. I already know. What? Uh, let's go have a look, shall we? Wait. Wait, so let me let me We betrayed her here, and we betrayed Phi, and she was devastated, right? So theoretically, she allied here? We'll know pretty quick whether I knew anything or not. Okay, let's go. I don't know if this is actually true or not, but that's okay. We'll just go with it. Results from round two of the Ambidex game will now be displayed. Zoom, how you doing? Are you ready for this weekend? Are you busy? Welcome in, though. Hope you're doing well. I'm sure you're, uh, sure it's been busy for you. But soon it'll be over. Please direct your attention to the results screen. Zoom has a, a thing coming up. Currently at the in-laws working while fiance figures out last minute details. Gotcha. Hasn't been too bad. Nice. Did Phi betray us? Phi did betray us. Okay. Uh, this is pretty much what we assumed, right? So Phi's the only one with nine points right now. And she's going to escape. Points have been assigned or subtracted accordingly. How have I been? Uh, pretty good. So, 
you might have noticed that I am currently not working at the moment. At like this right this moment. Uh I'm actually I actually quit my old job. Quit the job. And I'm on I'm on a little break. Please check your bracelet to see your updated bracelet points. What the hell, Fi? Why'd you choose Betray? Congrats, at least you think. It's a tough thing to do. It is. It is. And uh, I'm glad I did. I think I'll learn a lot during this time. I hope, at least. And, uh, yeah. I just need to see what else is out there and things like that, so. And for now, I'm just, like, chilling for a little while. You chose Ally before. I see. So you remember it, too. You chose Ally before. I see. You remember it, too. So, Fi remembers the other timeline as well. By other timeline, I mean that what happened in here, we betrayed her, and she allied. And then in this side, we chose Ally, and she betrayed us. So, it's basically flipped. So, she remembers the other timeline as well. The other round two. What? You like it. Uh, you, I've earned some chill time. If I, if you learn anything from finding something new, old job works pretty hard. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Works you pretty hard. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm looking forward to what's been going. Uh, uh, what kind of changes in my life are going to be happening? Though they're very uncertain, and that's okay. I, I think it's okay. It's a little uncomfortable. But it's okay. That wasn't even close to the response I'd expected. It felt anticlimactic? Hey, hey, hold on a minute here. Dave, have you, er... Uh, oh, I, I just doxed you. I doxed your first name. Uh, which I've called you before on stream, but anyways. Have you been watching more anime? How's that been going for you? If at all. Hey, hold on a minute here. You, you know? You remember how I chose Betray last time in round two? Yeah, of course. Why do you think I chose Betray this time? Don't you remember what I said? That I'd make you pay? Yeah, I do remember that. Oh, this is awkward. So we both remember the time, the different timelines. Does everyone in the game remember the different timelines is the next question. Then this is making, is you making me pay? Yes. Wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. That didn't make any sense. Something wasn't right. How could we both know about an earlier round two? How could there have been an early... How could there have been an earlier round two? Was it some sort of alternate history? Alternate, like, timeline or whatever? What the hell was I thinking? That was conspiracy theories. Conspiracy theory shit. Even if there was some sort of alternate timeline or universe or whatever... There is no way I could know what had happened in it. No way I could know. At least I didn't think there was any way I could know. But if I could, then how? I remembered Fi choosing ally, then scowling at me when I broke my promise and swearing revenge. That was not a smart move, Sigma. I won't forget this. I'll make sure you pay, even if it's the last thing I do. She literally didn't forget it. Sounds like I've got a good hole in the situation. Excited to see us in person. Yeah, that'll be fun. That'll be a good time. Can't wait, man. Why did I know that? Perhaps more importantly, why did Fire remember it? What the hell did any of this mean? It had happened before, hadn't it? During round one of the AB game, when I was playing against Alice, I'd seen something. Fi and I had chosen Betray. We betrayed Alice. Yeah, wait, wait. Let me go back to... We did betray Alice, right? This actually did happen. This is what happened in, in this timeline. Ah, but this is what happened in the other timeline. I see. But for some reason, I'd seen a reality where we'd chosen ally instead. Yeah, this both, both of it happened. Uh, you've been slacking on anime. You think you watched the first season of 
UQ Holder, which was good, but a little extra fan service. What is UQ Holder? I don't know what UQ Holder is. What is UQ? Suddenly I realized that I wasn't alone. I looked up to see Luna, Clover, and Kay. I don't know, TikTok told you to watch it. That is so funny. I'm Googling it right now. It's not marked as an etchy. Etchy means like little. Etchy just means a little like perverted in some ways, I guess. In the decades since the world became aware of the existence of magic, the world has undergone massive upheaval. However, a boy named Tota lives in seclusion in a rural town far removed from these changes. His ordinary life is highlighted by his magic using female teacher and his supportive friends. When his tranquil daily life is disrupted, he embarks on a unique journey. Sounds pretty classic, I guess. Huh. All right. Uh, <laughs> so I started a show last night with my friend Mitch. My friend Mitch, he's really into, he's really into edgy. He watches a lot of fan service anime. And that's what he prefers. And he calls it trash. Which is, you know, mostly true. Like, pretty degenerate trash. Uh, we started a show called Heaven's Lost Property. There's a lot of fan service. I can tell already. Suddenly I realized that I wasn't alone. I looked up to see Luna, Clover, and Kay. They all began to speak at once. What happened? sounds like it it's not a it wasn't bad it wasn't a bad first episode i mean i'm down to watch more the thing is like i'm mostly down to watch fan service anime as long as like it's good you know why did you choose betray fi yeah you're the only one who didn't vote ally fi looked away and scowled for several long moments, her eyes stared off into the distance, and I could also see her mind working. Finally, she sighed and spoke. Right. Well, I've got nine points now. <laughs> Later. So sorry, but I'm out of here. <laughs> huh? Wh what do you mean? If the fan service makes sense, like dress up, dar darling, it's fine, but most of the time you can't do it. Oh, gotcha. And that's fair, too. I, I totally get that. I mean, uh... Yeah, no, there there's a lot of show there's a lot of shows that I've seen with like unnecessary fan service that's like just over the top fan service. Uh Rachana, have you seen Kill a Kill and what do you think of it? If you've seen it. Cause I think Kill a Kill is great. I love Kill a Kill. I think it's a great show. Couldn't get through five minutes. Fair enough. Okay, that's okay. <laughs> huh? What do you mean? Do I really have to explain it? I'm leaving through the number nine door. You and Trigger have a spotty history. I see. Uh, were you not like fans, uh, not a fan of like Gurren Logan and stuff? You watch No Game No Life too. Okay, that show is actually etchy. That show actually has like a lot of fan service and it's like very outward about it. What do you think of it, Zoom? People have been asking for a No Game No Life season two for like literally forever. And it, I don't know if it's ever going to happen. I doubt it. I'm leaving through the number nine door. <laughs> hey! Wait! I scrambled around in front of her and threw my arms out. You're in my way. Move. <laughs> no, I'm not letting you go. What happened to you? I didn't think you were the kind of person who dished the rest of us so you could get away. When someone betrays your trust... Feels like a part of you dies. For me, I guess it was the part that cared. Man. Brutal. I don't think you have even the slightest idea what that feels like. Gurren Logan was grand until it made you panic attack at the end. Oh, it's because you're not, uh, you don't like space, right? Oh, that is a problem, Raichana. Because the problem with trigger anime is that they all end in space <laughs> in some way or another. And it actually doesn't make sense, but and then, uh, but it's okay, because it's like, silly. 
Story wise, solid. It did have some strange moments, but you think the solid parts make it worth it. Gotcha. Trigger loves suddenly space. I know, it's so funny. It's such a great thing. It's such a s funny meme. I don't think you even you have even the slightest idea what that feels like. Betrays your wait, are you saying Whatever. Just get out of my way. So uh the one where she turns into a literal ship. Right. Which one's that? <laughs> what do you want him to watch next, Zoom? If anything. So, remember in uh, Fi, we betrayed her. We obviously betrayed her in the timeline recently. In this timeline? On this side? Oh, you can't see it because my camera. But it's uh, on the right side. And we're, uh, we're right here on the left right now. You can't see it because my camera. We're, we're in this one, on the left. But on the right side, we betrayed her. So she remembers that. But also, I think we betrayed her in a different timeline as well. In previous, like, way before this game happened. I don't remember. Oh yeah, the darling and the Franks. How am I forgetting? Everyone thinks Zero Two is best girl from that. You currently have nothing on your radar. You think you're going waves or wanting to watch stuff and TikTok hasn't told you to yet. Gotcha. I see. Interesting that you get most of your recommendations from TikTok. I think that's hilarious. No, I'm not moving. I see. Then you leave me no choice. She's gonna jump over me. Or like As she spoke, five bent down. Okay, yeah, she has jumped over me. Cool. Right. Then shot up into the air and over my head. I spun around to see her standing next to the number nine door, her hand on the lever. So how do I stop her? Nice you try. She grinned and tightened her grip on the lever. Body tay. Acta est fabula. W what the hell is that? It's Latin. Applaud. The play has ended. That's what it means. GG's? Latin? See you later. Wait, stop. I felt myself speaking before I even knew what the words were. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What am I saying here? Elapsum semo... Ocasionem non ipse potest lupiter reprend reprehendere. Obviously, guys, this is the this is the natural response to what Phi just said. Not even Jupiter can find a lost opportunity. Ah, of course. I don't know how he remembered that. Just randomly, one account will pop up that does five animes that. Blank, and if it looks or sounds good, you try it. Gotcha. You've been meaning to watch some of the main anime movies, but need time for that. Like, how's Moving Castle? Some Ghibli movies would be good. Their dubs are good. Very good. I'm a personal fan of Spirited Away a lot. I also really like um. Ariet the Secret World of Arietti. I like that movie a lot. I think it's beautiful. Are you sure this is how you want it to end? Alright, not even Jupiter can find a lost opportunity. I don't remember what this means. What about the nonary game? Zero? The bombs? We still don't know the truth about any of it. If you leave now, we never will. Is that really what you want? Fine. Oh, did this route just add more squares? Fi slowly let go of the lever. Phew! Look, I'm sorry. I'm about betraying you. I'm honestly not sure why I did it. Forget about it. It was for the completion, Sigma. You betrayed Fi for the completion. For the 100%. That's another one that's been on your radar? Yeah, Spirited Away is great. I assume that's the one you're talking about. I mean, that one's really popular, so. This time you chose ally and I chose betray. So is Luna dead? No. No, Luna must have three one point left. I think we're even. Uh what are you talking about? Nothing. When did you betray her? Uh disregard. Are you talking about round one? No. 
No, we weren't we aren't talking about round one where just drop it. There's no point. I doubt they'd understand even if you did tell them. We did it because we had to. It's true, right, Shauna? Yeah, you're right. Huh? Hmm? Hmm? I don't get it. Well, at least it seems Fi has decided to remain. You've really changed your mind? Yeah, I'll stick around a little longer. Like he said, I can't leave until we figured out what's going on. What if this is the true end? The AB game will continue until someone opens the number 9 door. If someone reaches 9 BP and doesn't open the door, the game will keep going. Oh man, that's a relief. Please don't scare us like that again. Oh, the game is going to continue. Alright, I guess we chose a long route, maybe. The Ambidex gates have closed. Round 3 of the Ambidex game will be the star round. Star keys are required to open the gates. There is no set limit on usage of the star keys. The Ambidex gates can be opened as many times as the players wish to open them. As many times as we want, huh? Then that means... As long as you have the star keys, you can play the AB game as many times as you want. All right, if everyone's not a scumbag, this is great. Because every theoretically, you just all choose ally until the game is over, right? Until everyone has nine points. That's like the, the theoretical, and it would it should be easy, right? You probably won't be allowed to play it continuously, however. There's a period of time between when the doors open and when the polling ends. Based off the last two rounds, I think it's about 45 minutes long. So you can repeat the game every w once every 45 minutes or so. Oh, that's right. Didn't Zero Jr. say something about that? Skip and solo assignments pop around a bit too. I want to skip. Oh yeah, what are your bracelets, guys? Looks like I'm a red solo. Oh, I'm a solo. We've never been a solo, I don't think. I'm a magenta pear. Me too. That means we'll be a team this time. I think we'll do great. Ah, oh, Luna, you're so encouraging. Y yeah. Who's going to be my partner then? I'm a cyan pear. They do not appear to be here. I, for instance, am a yellow pear. Huh? Wait a second. If Luna and Clover are a magenta pear... Alright. Uh, I don't want... We're supposed to. You're supposed to make white. Cyan pair, I imagine. That's the ending. Fi and her mysterious partner. How do you figure that? Sigma. What? What color? Exactly. I don't want to so listen to color the theory. I'm sorry. Of chromatic doors are going to be white. Yes. How do you know? Because I have. After leaving the archive, in it was a set of white doors. Well, to be precise, a set of doors which radiated white light. I'm glad they're showing us a path. I really need to know. Yeah, I saw him too. After we were finished in the garden, we went to the same warehouse he's talking about. Alright, you don't have to show me, please. They had the same little lock thingies. I'm 100% sure they're the next chromatic doors. What about the people back in the infirmary? Must show in super slow mo, apparently. You gotta really drill it into India. Do they know about the white doors? Yes, if we exclude Quark from their number, and I believe they do. Alright, so where's Quark? We don't know Quark's status in this in this route, because I forgot. As far as pairs go, we're missing a cyan and a yellow. If Sigma's a red solo, then we should have a green solo and a blue solo back in the infirmary. Hmm. Well, I'm going back to the infirmary. What happened to Dio? Did we knock out Dio? I'm kind of worried about Alice and Quark. I'll go too. As will I. Oh, that's right. Wait, guys. There's something else I need to tell you. Huh? What is it? Go on. I meant to say something earlier, but I guess there was just so much other stuff going on. I looked at Fi. She nodded back. See, the truth is, what am I about to tell them? 
W what? I don't know what I just told them. <laughs> oh no! You found another bomb? Ah, so we're in this route. Oh shoot! I should have gone to a different route. Where? This might be the true ending then. In the garden. No, that's not possible. We didn't see anything like that. Maybe I shouldn't keep going on this route. Oh Could gosh. Could you have missed it? No, no way. We checked every part of that room. Hmm. All right, so, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let me talk about this. Dio, Dio had the password to the number zero bomb, which probably means he has the password to the number one bomb as well, possibly. It would make sense anyway. But anyway, uh, it seems like Dio is the one planting the bombs. All right, this bomb is the one, one bomb. Since the one we found in the crew quarters said zero three on it, well. You think there might be a third bomb out there somewhere? I think there's a good chance. Beer, be gonna find the well. anime TikTok account and see if there's anything the good. It got you thinking now. All right, fair enough. Hey, report back. I am curious. Very well. We should split up and find this other bomb. It could be anywhere. Yeah, I agree. But even if we do find it. What are we supposed to do? That is a concern for later. At the moment, our primary concern should be finding it. You can't fight an enemy you can't see, after all. Precisely. All right. I'll head back to the infirmary and let everybody else know. Please. How about we set a time to meet back here, just in case? So, okay, so this is, uh... Let me talk about a little bit about... Recount the events that happened on this read as well. Um, so... Alice got hit... Quark got hit with Radical Six first. Quark did. He's in the infirmary resting. Um, I think we probably saved him. Maybe Alice too. Alice also got hit with Radical Six. And we found her. She ran away from us. And we found her in the garden. And that's when we found the number one bomb that we're talking about now. I believe. Dio, I think we knocked out. I think we just knocked him out. Made him inactive. The time we have left until the chromatic doors open is... Let's see. Almost two hours. Wow. Quite a bit, actually. One hour and 57 minutes. I think approximately half of that should be enough. When we have one hour remaining, we should meet back at the infirmary. Acceptable? That sounds good to me. Right. I'll tell the others, too. Good. Let's go. Alright, uh, I might actually switch routes pretty soon. I feel like this is- this might be the true ending route. Where we find and disarm the bombs. I wish I knew. Which- I wish I knew which order I should be going in. So I don't get, like, super mixed up on- between the routes, you know? Lion ate the sun with an extra E. Makes sense, but you probably have to get all the endings before you can even think of getting the true one. I know! Well, the thing is, I feel like the true ending probably has uh, different phases for like different locks, so that maybe like lock one is up here, and then lock two is down here, then lock three is down here, big thing like that. And I feel like you maybe, this might be totally wrong, but I was thinking maybe you could, uh, like, you know, incrementally do it. And that's not what I want. I want to do it all at once, ideally. You know what I'm saying? So these are the white doors that Kay and Clover were talking about. Yeah, there's that lock thing. No question, these are chromatic doors, I guess. So it seems. Ah, what? When did you- I've been here the whole time. Scary. Seriously? I didn't notice you at all. Oh, I guess your hearing's starting to go. How sad. So, what do you want? Why are you stalk Why are you stalking me? I'm not stalking you. I just followed you here. That's pretty much the same thing. But how did you find it? You were totally silent. 
Are you Batman? I already told you I'm not. <laughs> Remember? Back in the AB room when we met? <laughs> yeah, actually. Did we ask if she was Batman? <laughs> you also jumped super high, all the way up to the ceiling. Right. Aren't you curious about that graffiti? Memento Mori, if the ninth lion ate the sun. <laughs> graffiti? Oh yeah, that. Memento Mori, if the ninth lion ate the sun. Did a kid write that or what? Why do you say that? Well, they managed to spell ninth wrong. I, I would have spelled ninth wrong too. Who puts an E in there? You're right. Then again, maybe it means something. Hmm. Do you know what it means? The Latin part. Hey now, give me a little credit. Even I know what Memento Mori means. Remember death. I knew it first try. No one's ever told me in previous routes. You see it all over the place. As far as I know, it translates to something like be aware of death or remember your mor mortality. Never forget that we all die someday. I guess it's a, a sort of cautionary thing. What about the other part? That's exactly what it says on the tin, right? Some sort of conditional about lions and sons. Hmm. Anything come to mind? No, nothing. Nothing at all. What about you? Huh. Me? Huh. Well, let's see. Memento Mori, the ninth lion ate the sun. Memento Mori, the ninth lion ate the sun. I repeat the words over and over in my head, but nothing. Whatever they meant, it was beyond me. But perhaps five. Latin. Huh? Don't you know Latin? Maybe you can figure out more of it. Maybe you can figure more of it out. Well, I know a little. More than most people, I guess, but I'm not an expert. Then how do you know that phrase? A la how, how does he remember this? What a legend. Oh, that. That's from, um, this. She unpinned the brooch, the brooch from her chest as she spoke and held it out to me. I hesitated for a moment, then took it. Look at the back. I turned it over. Huh. So what is this? We've never seen this before. So I guess the I is pronounced like a J in Latin, huh? Yeah. What is this? A memento of my late mother. A memento of her late mother. All right. What does that tell us? Nothing. I don't know. I don't know who her mom is. It's a little brooch thingy. Yeah, yeah. I don't think we've ever seen it, though, until now, right? Well, I guess it's something like a memento. What does that mean? She died right after I was born. Mm. I was raised by foster parents, and they told me where the brooch had come from. Ah, it's pronounced brooch. I'm good at English. Apparently, it was the only thing my mother had left behind. What about your father? Don't have one. I guess you could say I was a bastard. I never saw his face, and I don't know his name. I don't even know if he's alive. Oh. <laughs> I couldn't think of anything else to say, so I just handed her back the brooch. That phrase got to be almost like a prayer for me. Whenever I had to make a tough decision, I'd say it to myself. Sometimes I'd just repeat it over and over like a chant. What a weird thing to repeat to yourself. Before long, I had it memorized. Got me interested in Latin, and I started studying the language. Elopsum simel occasionum non ipsi protest Jupiter reprehendere. Ah, yes, a classic phrase, if you will. Not in even Jupiter life. can find a lost opportunity. Sounds nice, doesn't it? But it seems kind of funny now. I mean, look at us. We've done what Jupiter can't. We can find our lost opportunities. That's why I followed you here. I thought it would be a good idea to talk to you about all this. Alone. Yeah, There's something I agree. else we need to do too, though. Find the number two bomb. Exactly. So we should get going. I'm pretty sure the bomb isn't in here. There's nowhere to hide it. So... You're saying we should go somewhere? Yeah. Well, come on, don't just stand there. We need to get a move on. Without waiting for a reply, she turned and started toward one of the exits. I followed. The 
archives. Okay. Are we going to find the bomb in here? The archives. Good place to hide a bomb. Now where the hell did we start looking? I doubt it really matters. If it's here, we'll find it eventually. So what about that Jupiter stuff? We can talk while we look. Now get started. I turned to a corner of the room and began to look while Fi spoke. I'll start with a conclusion I've come to. Our consciousnesses seem to be able to jump through time. Sorry, just for a sec. Our consciousness seems to be able to jump through time. All right, yep, okay. No, sorry. Through time isn't really <coughs> accurate. It's more like we move through worlds. Okay, fair enough. It's like timelines, which is like different worlds, kind of. Worlds? Yes. I don't mean physical planets in this case. I'm talking about a whole different universe, really. Parallel worlds. Right. What? Do you know about the many worlds interpretation? Uh, alright. Well, kind of. I think I've heard of it once or twice. Mm. Oh, well, I'll just explain it. Let's say... Hmm. I don't care what it is, but could you move? <laughs> huh? Uh... Scratch your head, cross your arms, put your hands on your hips. Anything? I had no idea what this was supposed to explain, but I did what as she asked. Yeah, I found Vinland Saga, Beyond the Boundary, and Charlotte. Uh, I've only seen one of those. I've actually only seen Vinland Saga. I started Beyond the Boundary before. I couldn't get into it too much, but I do want to eventually watch Beyond the Boundary. I haven't seen Charlotte. I've heard mixed things about Charlotte. Vinland Saga is excellent, though. I do want to watch Beyond the Boundary. Oh, what am I going to do? Oh, I'm going to put my hands on my hips. IRL as well. Uh, how about this? Is this okay? That's fine. You put your hands on your hips just now, right? But you could have chosen to clap your hands or cheer. Mm -hmm. Now, maybe there are other Sigmas in other worlds who did all of those things. All of these worlds and realities are branching off from one another. The choices you could have made branched off from the moment you decided what you were going to do just now. Every moment you make a decision, Another universe branches off, on and on into infinity. All right, this is gonna get really dank, really silly, really fast. I think. Um, this reminds me a little bit of Steins Gate. Villain was on a No Bad Episodes one. Uh, I think it depends on what you prioritize in an episode. Obviously, it's subjective. I think. Oh man, the, there's a lot of really good stuff in that show, though. Each of those branches. The ending is, is so good. World. A world where a version of you did something different. Haven't you ever thought about what life would have been like if you'd made different choices? What if you'd gone to this high school instead of that one? What if you hadn't started a study group? Last two are one season ones. Last two. Or from an anime you can watch in a night. I mean, if you're insane. You've seen a bit of Beyond the Boundary and couldn't get into it. Oh, okay, Rachana, you're not. You're the same as me. I do want to try it, though. I mean, because Beyond the Boundary is a Kyo Annie, right? I want to watch all the Kyo Annie anime. Because I really like Kyo, Kyoto animation, generally speaking. Charlotte is interesting until, well, your mileage will vary. Fair enough. I've not seen it, so I can't say. I don't know what twists or whatever you're talking about. What if you hadn't started a study group? What if you hadn't told that girl you liked her? What if? What if? But are those what ifs really just what ifs? Or are there other worlds out there where you did those things anyway? That's the many worlds interpretation in a nutshell. I've simplified it a lot. Doesn't have to be human actions, though. I just used your actions to make the explanation easier to grasp. The actions of a cat, the flight of a bee, the movement of a microorganism, even fluctuations in air temperature. 
All these can change history. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on a second here. I'll let microorganisms slide, but there's no way that air is conscious of anything. Can you say for sure that you are? <laughs> Alright, this is gonna get really silly. What? All of your actions are caused by the cells in your brain. If we go down a little further, then you could say all of your actions are the result of atoms or electrons, or smaller particles we haven't even discovered yet. Are those atoms and electrons still you making a decision? At that level, how different are you from the air? I'd say not much. <laughs> this is gonna get really dank! Human existence is just one part of reality. Falling in love is like a tulip blossoming. A tulip blossoming is like a tornado forming in South America. See what I'm saying? The only thing that really matters is the action of the most elementary particles of matter. That's where history happens. That's your universes branch out. All right, calm down, Fi. Hey, you stopped. Are you done with that shelf? Uh, no, not yet. We'll keep looking while I talk. You missed whatever I said to your last two messages. Fiance came to talk. Uh, what did I say? I said Finland Saga is a really good show, and the ending's really good. How familiar are you with quantum physics? Never mind, don't answer that. <laughs> Fair enough. I'll try and keep it simple for you. Hmm. Hey, hand me that box, will you? This one? Sure. I handed the box I'd been examining over to her. She set it down on the desk and opened the top. Also... Hmm. Ah, there's a stuffed lion over there. Perfect. He's part of Felide, too. What is Felide? What does that mean? With that, she grabbed the line and tossed it unceremoniously into the box. She also took a weight and an ink jar and put them in next to the lion. All right, everything's ready. Ready? Remember that book in the crew quarters about Schrodinger's cat? Schrodinger's, okay. It relates to all this stuff I've been talking about. Anyway, come look at the box. What about looking? What about looking for the- This will only take a minute. Now look. You like the TikTok account because it just gives a lot of options in like five to se ten second clips of the anime. Gotcha. I'm curious what you saw of each anime. I shrugged and peered into the box. What do you see? Well, there's a stuffed lion. From now on, that's a cat. Okay. I saw a cat. A living cat. Okay. This is important. Got it? Yeah, it's a cat meow. <laughs> oh, man. This again? Sorry. I... Can't help it. I find that hard to believe. Ugh, fine. Maybe I can just ignore it. For what it's worth, I'm sorry. Alright, what else do you see? A weight that's not even a pond. Oh my goodness. And a jar of ink. You can DM the TikTok. It's usually an action sequence. If I see something you like, go, you go watch the trailer or something. Gotcha. Fair enough. Have you seen a sports anime, Zoom? You might like some sports anime, like Haikyuu or something. Haikyuu is really good. Chihai Fruit is my personal favorite sports anime, but it's not quite as like action-y as Haikyuu is. But still quite good. Right. Now the weight is going to be radioactive material. And the jar of ink is full of poisonous gas. Okay. So the cat's gonna die. What? I'm getting out of here. Idiot. It's not really full of gas. This is just hypothetical. Imagine that it's full of gas. So, what's the weight? Radioactive material. And the jar of ink. Poisonous gas. Exactly. Good work. Now, there's one other thing you need to know about the jar. If it's struck by any of the alpha particles the radioactive material emits, it'll break. These particles are emitted randomly, but there's a 50% chance that one of them will come into contact with the jar over the course of an hour. 
So let's close the lid. And pretend an hour has passed. Here's the question. Is the cat inside of the box alive or dead? You can't open the box to check. And you can't hit the box. Obviously, you can't shake it either. It's also been soundproofed, so the cat could be howling up a storm in there and you'd never know. Basically, you have no idea what's going on inside the box. Do you remember what happens if the alpha particles hit the jar? It breaks. Gas fills the box, the cat inhales it, and death will whisk her away. And what if the jar doesn't break? The cat lives to tell the tale. Haha. Ha. And what are the chances of either of those things happening? About 50%. Uh-huh. Okay. So, what's your answer? Is the cat alive or dead? Yes. I can't personally know. Then guess. It's not hard. Alive or dead? Um, it's alive. The cat has paused for dramatic effect alive. Nope. You're wrong. It's dead? That's wrong, too. Then what's the right answer? The answer is that it's in a state where it is neither dead nor alive. What? How does that make any sense? It's an extrapolation of something we see at the atomic level. We don't know if an atom is spinning upward or downward until we measure it. This is getting silly. Before it's measured, those two possibilities coexist. But as soon as the measurement is taken, obviously, only one possibility is the truth. That's what's happening with the alpha particles. Since we can't know when they were emitted or where, we only know the probability that they'll impact the jar. Because we can't observe anything that's happening in the box, that becomes the entire system. In other words, the box is like the atom. We don't know how the cat's life or death situation has resolved itself until we look at it. Until we do, it's just a bunch of possibilities. Do you get it? If the cat in the box is possibilities, then it's both alive and dead. Right. So, let's open the lid. And when we do, all the possibilities will collapse into a single truth. Meow. What a relief, huh? Looks like the cat's alive. Anyway, that's Schrodinger's cat. The many worlds interpretation is one theory for explaining that weirdness. Thanks, Fi. So there's another world out there where this cat died? Yeah. That's the idea. Looks like that cat tick of yours cleared up. Yeah. Well, your story was pretty intense. Insane. Insane? You don't think so? Just the idea of something being alive and dead at the same time. And if the moment the lid is open determines whether or not the cat's dead, then... It's almost like events in the future can determine the past. I mean, the cat doesn't die when you open the lid, so it must have already been dead. Exactly. You've experienced it, haven't you? What on earth are you talking about? Think back. Remember round two of the AB game? When you chose Betray, what was my vote? Ally. But what happened this time? I chose Ally, and you chose Betray. Right. And both times... I put in my vote a full minute before the deadline. When did you push the button? Right before the deadline. I see. Well, that makes us a little easier to explain. If you chose Betray, then my vote was Ally. If you chose Ally, then my vote was Betray. But I made my choices a whole minute before you made yours. Don't you think that's strange? You do see what I'm saying, don't you? That my choice in the future altered your action in the past. Yeah. From your perspective, there's no other way to interpret it. Alright, fair enough. Now that I thought about it, round one had been the same. Yeah, with Alice. When I chose an al ally, Alice had chosen Betray. And when I'd chosen Betray, she'd, gone she'd done the opposite. Look at this die. So why? Why did that happen for Alice? I found it over there. Let me give you one last example. As she, do, you need, do we need another example, please? As she spoke, she tossed the die into the box and quickly shut the lid. All right. Answer this question. What number is the die on? Four. 
All right, going to focus on work for a bit. Hope stream goes well. Also, it's travel safe this weekend. Thanks, man. And I hope uh, hope it's not too stressful up till the day. I'll see you later, man. Thanks for stopping in. It's number four, obviously. Has to be four. Okay. I'm going to open the lid. Good job. All right. Now we don't know if. Okay. You got it right. That was just a fluke. Was it? Yeah. Right. So that's interesting. Is it gonna? What it, does your just? Does it change based on your decision here? <laughs> huh? Let's think about what was going on before I opened the lid. What number was the die on? Four, of course. Haven't you been paying attention? No, we don't know. Yeah, we don't still actually a know. a collection of atoms, isn't it? I don't think you can reasonably suggest that it was made of some different kind of matter. Wait, so you're saying that before you open the lid, there's one, two, three, four, five, and six. The die was on all the numbers. Uh-huh. That's one way to look at it, at least. And then when you open the lid, it's just one number. Or it might have become that number when you declared which one it was. Huh? Wait, wait. What do you mean? Your choice in the future has an effect on the past. That's crazy. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say. We got a little off topic there, but I think I made my point. Thank goodness. Reality separates off into an infinite number of branches for each and every possibility. You and I seem to be able to jump from branch to branch. Of course, our bodies aren't doing the jumping. Our consciousnesses just sort of dive into other versions of ourselves in other worlds. Whoa. I think I get it now. That's how you knew my name, right? You jump in from another world? That's how you knew all the, those other things you shouldn't have known. Yeah, that's the best I can figure out, at least. Unfortunately, it seems like we don't retain all our memories when we jump. Maybe we only remember particularly important things. I'm not sure how it works. But whatever the reason, it seems to be fairly limited. And often, we don't seem to remember jumping at all. Things will just sort of pop up. That's why when someone asks us how we knew no X, all we can think of is to say is just is I just knew. Yeah. What's causing this then? I don't remember ever doing this before, so why would it start now? If we knew that, I don't think we'd be having so much trouble. It's just Just what? Well, pretty sure it has to do with why we're locked up in here. There's no way this doesn't have something to do with whatever Zero Senior's trying to do. Why would he have left that Schrodinger's cat book in the crew quarters? Hmm, you aren't kidding, are you? <laughs> Maybe this is some sort of huge Schrodinger's cat experiment. And all nine of us are locked up inside the box right now. And what if you've got it backwards? Backwards? We're outside of the box, and the rest of the world is inside. Then the moment we step out of this place... Yeah. We might be determining the history of the world outside. No way. That's interesting. I had a thousand other questions, but before I could open my mouth to ask them. Oh, good. There you are. Did something happen? Yes, we found it. Found what? What do you mean, what? What else could we find? The number two bomb. The bomb? The other antimatter bomb. The number two bomb is in the control room. Ooh, we explored that, didn't we? Oh, I remember this room. I could not figure this room out. Is this it? Yeah. This is one of them, all right. And it's number two, apparently. Well, at least we found them all now. No. There could be more. Like Kay said, there might be a number four bomb out there. We have no way to know. Did you tell anyone else about this, Clover? Well, um, not really. But, uh, I wasn't the first person to find it. Who was? Kay and Luna. After they found it, they came to the infirmary and told the rest of us. Who was in the infirmary? Everyone. Tenmyoji and Dio were there. So were Alice and Clark, of course. Although they were still asleep. So everyone who wasn't asleep knows about the bomb. I see. Yeah. There's nobody else here, though. 
Where'd they all go? Right after we came here to look at the bomb, they all left. They were going to go look for you two. What about Alice and Quark? They're the same, still sleeping. We checked them out just to be sure, but they seemed fine. That's good. Fi and I looked at one another and let out a small sigh of relief. Oh, right. I checked everybody's bracelets when we were in the infirmary. Did you want to know what they were? I took her- it took her only a moment to explain. Alice was a green solo. And Quark was a blue solo. Dio's bracelet made him a yellow pair. And Temyoji was a cyan pair. So, what are our options for groups? The next set of doors to open are going to be the white doors. That means we'll have to mix our colors so that we get white. If I laid out what, what, what that would mean. Uh, Alright, I'm with Fi and Tenmyoji. Alright. Alright, let's write this down. Uh, Sigma is the solo. Phi and Tenmyoji. Uh, Tenmyoji should be at three or five, depending on if he won the round one or two, round one or not. We're at four. Clover and Luna. Oh, it's Alice. Alice is AFK right now. Quark is a blue solo. For now, they're both Aline. And this one is Dio and K. I don't know everyone's point totals. It's a problem. We have to go check the bot again. Huh? There's only one option? Yeah, any other combinations don't make white. What about Alice and Quark? Luna said it's going to be a while until they wake up. You have returned a snack. Congratulations, what are you eating? We'll just have to carry them. The secondary doors won't open without three bracelets. And if we can't open them... Yeah, we'll get penalized. Exactly. Don't worry about Alice. I'm on her team. Are you saying you can carry her? Yeah. Whoa, really? Can you? It's pretty strong. Well, I can get Luna to help me. All right, fair enough. Welcome to some homemade chocolate chip cookies. That sounds delicious. I can you are you are you pretty good at baking, right, Chana? I wish I could bake. I only do like standard cooking. Standard cooking. True. I'm sure she'd be happy to help. What about Quark? He's on Kay's team. There shouldn't be any issues there. You are? That's fun. Not great, but not too bad. Gotcha. That's fun. Well, we still need to figure out what we're going to do about this bomb. I read that so robotically. Alice said we should be safe as long as it's not triggered with the remote. Maybe. But we can't just leave them here forever. I mean, if they go off, then everything in like a couple hundred kilometers is gonna get fried. Wait, a couple hundred kilometers? What are you talking about? That bomb should only have about as much explosive power as a ton of TNT, which is nothing to sniff at, but there's n that's nowhere near the kind of yield you're talking about. It could be. What if these bombs are just like, the detonator. Oh, oh. You mean there might be a bunch more anti-hydrogen around here somewhere? Yep, right over there. The react. Yeah. The reactor. Yeah. There is supposed to only be 18 antimatter reactors in the whole world. If that's one of them, then there's a lot of anti-hydrogen. How much is a lot? Three and a half kilograms. Three and a half? That's like 10,000 times more than Alice's 350 milligrams. If there really is that much, and if it does explode, then we would be looking at an explosion roughly 10,000 times more powerful than the bomb dropped on Hiroshima. No, that's 
That's insane. Wait, Clover, how did you know that? Know what? That stuff about antimatter reactors. Um, well, that's a. Uh, during my training, they. <laughs> training for what? Uh, my job? <laughs> ah, of course. I didn't realize waiters these days needed to memorize how many operational antimatter reactors were there were worldwide. <laughs> or how much fuel each one of those reactors might be storing. You don't work at a cafe, do you? Did you hear about that from Alice? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, she's right then. And why are you using antimatter reactors at a cafe? That's, uh, what we call the coffee machines. This is dumb. What? Well, are you fucking with me? I'm telling you the truth. I work at a cafe. It just might, um, be a kind of fake job to divert attention. I think they call it a cover. Then what's your what? real job? I'm sorry. I really can't tell you anything else. Why not? It's classified. <laughs> it's classified. Classified by who? The government. The government? That's right. Alice said it was her job to eliminate enemies of the state or something. So you two, so you two do work together. Uh, oh no! Check your bracelets. How much time do we have left? What are you talking about? How long until the doors open? Come on, quickly! We're supposed to meet at one hour left. Damn. We're supposed to have met up five minutes ago. I'm heading back then. All right, later. Remember, we're supposed to meet at the infirmary. You guys hurry back, okay? Bye! She's just doing this so she doesn't have to answer the question. Hey, you haven't... Damn it. And she's gone. Fine. She's right, you know. We need to get going. Hold on. I need to check something really quick. Uh, what? Wait. Wait! What did you just check? Shoot. I, I need to know. Oh, there you are. You're late. What were you doing? Nothing. Nothing? That doesn't sound suspicious. When we arrived, everyone else was already back. Quark and Alice hadn't left, of course. They were both sleeping soundly. Any trace of the madness we'd seen earlier, long gone. We must have given them the... Clover told us. The the stuff, the Excelivir in this timeline. Wait, did we? This is the control room, right? Did someone do the, uh... The laboratory? Huh. I don't know. Anyways. You've seen the bomb in the control room? Yeah, with our own eyes. So what the hell should we do? That makes three bombs. Well, we have to do something. They're bombs, for God's sake. There's a quick and simple solution. Really? Remember what Alice said? There should be an emergency deactivation password. If you enter that password, the device should, well, deactivate. You see it? Right here. There's a port. If we can find the password input device, we just connected here. We have it. We have the input device. Somewhere. Or, right, we... Do we have it in this current timeline? I don't know. Then we can enter the password. So, if we have the password, we can deactivate them? Whoa, whoa, hold on a second. That's great and all, but we need that password input device she was talking about. Without that, we're still boned even if we did have the password. Not a problem. We've resolved that issue. Huh? Show them. Apparently we have that. Okay. I wasn't sure which timeline we have that. I know I'd pulled it out of my pocket. That was in the safe in the control room. Exactly. We didn't have any idea what it was at first, but Fi figured it out. After Clover left, we tested it. Turned out I was right. It fit perfectly. Ah, so that's what she wanted to check. Okay. Couldn't get it to do anything, though. We plugged in a couple of random characters, but all we got was an error. What if it just exploded when you threw out an error when you didn't put in the right password? Still... I'm sure this is the thing Alice was talking about. 
We just didn't have the right password. But why was it in the control room? Do you think Zero Senior put it here for us? That would suggest it was also Zero Senior who set up the bombs. Doesn't that seem odd, though? Zero Senior wants us to play the Nonary game, right? Seriously. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I agree, Rachel. It's like, it seems kind of risky. Yeah, I could see if you wanted to, like, test it that it fit and plug together right, and that's it. But inputting actual passwords is, whew, spooky. So why would he set bombs? Maybe he wants to blow this whole place up if someone commits some crazy violation of the rules? That doesn't make sense. Our bracelets already have poison in them. If someone breaks a rule, all he has to do is activate their bracelet. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Well, whatever the case is, there's one thing we can be sure of. The person who set these bombs is one of us. Whether or not that person is also Zero Senior isn't particularly relevant at the moment. It's Dio, right? At least I'm like still convinced it's Dio. But what is relevant is that they know the deactivation password. At least he knew Bomb Zero. If we can figure out who that person is and question them, we can get the password and turn the bombs off. Exactly. That would be my quick and easy method. So fess up. Which one of you set the bombs? Not that I expect you to do that. So, we're going to be checking everyone. Dang. Checking us? Yes. Once they're set, the bombs are controlled by a remote. It stands to reason that whoever set them has that remote. So you're gonna search us for it? Yes. But, no buts. If you refuse, that implicates you. I mean, Fi's right. Do what I say and you'll be fine, assuming you are actually innocent. Understand? No reason to wait. Let's get started. Anyone want to volunteer to go first? No? All right. Let's see. I'd volunteer. It wasn't me, right? Huh? Wait. Huh? You only need to search one person. What? Why? Because I figured out who did it. Wait, 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 wait. I, I know who did it. Is it not Dio? The words are out of my mouth before I even realized I was saying them. How can you... There's no way. Yeah. Wait, what if it's Phi? I met Phi's gaze and nodded, then turned away. I know who set the bombs. That person... Seems like Dio. Objection! The person! You did it! The room was suddenly silent. Oh man, it's gotta be- Is it not Dio? Okay. Spicy. I don't know who- I actually don't know who it is. I thought it was Dio, but... All right, uh, let's do, uh, again, we're just doing like random endings now. Um, let's do this one. Mm, let's do this one. Where did Alice go? Okay, so let's think about what happens here. So Alice is dead in this, or no, no, she's not dead. This was, so this was when she went crazy, right? And we, and on this side, on this side, we found her in the bee garden, in the, Tentacle garden or whatever. Um, on this side, we found her in like the botanical garden, I think. But this side, we haven't found her, I suppose. So can we check this, I guess? So we're in the lounge. No one here, huh? Damn. Where did she go? Then suddenly the world shifted. Ah! 
So this is my consciousness like entering me basically. For just an instant, I, I was somewhere else entirely. My mind reeled, and then just had begun to adjust, it was gone, as if nothing had happened. What? What was that? It was the same sensation I felt when I saw the vision of the bombs exploding. Had it been a premonition? This is bad. I need to find Alice, now. But where could she be? Damn it, Alice, where are you? The bee garden, right? Hmm, might as well try the garden. I could try the other places too. I set off at a dead run. I wonder what would have happened if I chose the other places. I should have taken this time to sit down during this walking sequence, but I'm too late now. I'm gonna do it anyway. Why Quirk and Kay search this place as a escape room? They didn't search for Alice here, I don't think. Shit. Empty. Wait, wait, wait. What? I thought she'd be here for sure. She's not here. We need to find her quick or she's going to do something bad. What if I just saw... What if, what if what I just saw was a vision of the future... Gotta hurry. Oh wait, are we too late? Oh no. Did I need to did I need to choose it earlier? Shoot, I searched every floor of corner corner of floor B. She was nowhere to be seen. Rip. Alright, Alice is dead. Because of my incompetence. This is pointless. I should just go back to floor A. Maybe something else someone else has found her. We could save Allison, is what I'm gathering. I think we just chose wrong. We might be able to save her, at least. Alright, crew quarters. She's alive here. Doesn't look like anybody's here. I should have a look in the rooms. Alright, she would have been dead in room two, so. Alright, well. Is she still dead? Is this just visions? Okay, well. Alice! Dang. Well, the first thing I saw when I stepped through the door was a blossom of red on her chest. Oh god, it's all the same. This is it. This is what I saw. I walked up to her slowly and pressed two fingers against her neck. No pulse. Clearly she wasn't breathing either. Her pupils had dilated hideously, making her face seem somehow inhuman. No, this can't. What happened? You knew the future and you still threw. As in me. I was terrified. 
Not only was I looking down at the corpse of a friend, it was a corpse that I had seen before. Was it really a friend? The icy fingers of fear walked themselves down my spine. No. No! Something in my brain snapped. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Something like that. A scream clawed its way out of my body, taking my mind with it. The last thing I felt was my body slumping to the floor as the world went dark. When I came to, I was floating in a field of nothingness. Game over. Well, uh, I apparently I was supposed to save her. <laughs> Yikes. Good plays by me. Connection died what happened. Uh, well, we were supposed to find Alice, and I went the wrong way, and she died. <laughs> I was supposed to go to the crew quarters, but I looked for her in the bee garden. Alright, let's go to the crew quarters. What about the crew quarters? Yeah. Yeah. That has to be it. Uh, I set off at a dead run. Alright, I think I did it right this time. I should beat her to the crew quarters, I think. Hopefully. Hopefully she's not dead yet. We had all the information and we chose wrong. The first time. The moment I entered the crew the crew hallway, I made straight for the door to the number two room. Alice should be in here. I swallowed and, th I swallowed and threw open the door. Hey, you're still alive! Alice, so you were here! As I spoke, her eyes turned toward mine, but I didn't get the feeling that they were looking at me. Her skin was pale and sickly, and one of her hands held the scalpel like I'd caught her in the middle of something. What are you doing here? It's okay. I'm just here to help you. Help me? What do you mean? Just let go of that scalpel. No, I need it to get this bracelet off. Remember huh? what Zero Jr. told us? The bracelet comes off when your heart stops. So I just have to... Stop! Before I even finished the word, I was running. I grabbed both her arms and wrenched them back, pulling the blade away from her chest. They actually no! animated this. Nice. Let me go. I have to do this. I can't take it anymore. This whole thing is like a nightmare I can't wake up from. The only way I'm going to get out of here is to die. Knock it off. With a grunt, I tore the scalpel from her hands. It was a second before I felt a burning pain in my left hand. I got cut. I'd apparently cut myself getting the damn thing away from her. Very quickly, it, prog it progressed from a dull throb into a hot line of pain across my palm. I clenched my teeth and squeezed my hand tight. I was so focused on my pain that I barely heard Alice collapse. She didn't respond when I shook her. Hey, are you alright? Alice, say something. We saved her. Nice, we did it. There was a moment of terror before I realized she was still breathing. I didn't know why, but it seemed she'd only passed out. Shit, what am I supposed to do now? Oh man. Maybe the infirmary? It's got all those medicine, me medici medical things. Buoyed by adrenaline, I hefted Alice's body and took off toward the infirmary. We did something. My left hand is still cut. All right, please pay attention, everyone. You need to hear this. The Atom has finished scanning Alice. What did it say? Her results are identical to Quark's. She has also been infected with Radical Six. Vi had called everyone back else back after I brought Alice to the infirmary. Seven sets of eyes widened as Luna spoke. Oh no. No! What's going to happen to her? Well, like I said before, there's only one way to cure Radical Six. Okay, apparently they haven't been cured in this timeline. Gosh, I'm getting them all mixed up. It's a special antiviral treatment. Whether or not there's any around here, though. No! No! Oh, Alice! 
us. I don't want you to die. Please, please don't die. I don't want to be alone. Don't die. <laughs> it all goes, there's no emotion. The, the emotional parts just go away when you realize she's still smiling. Clover wrapped her arms around Alice's unconscious body and began to sob. None of us had the heart to t pull her off, so all we could do was stand and watch uncomfortably. Ten minutes remain until Ambidex Game Polling closes. All players, please enter your votes. If no vote is recorded before the deadline has passed, any non-voting parties will automatically ally. All right, who are we against here? Uh, guys, I think we should get back to the warehouse. What about Allison Quark? I guess we're just gonna have to leave him behind. No! I'm not leaving! Clover. I'm staying here! Like heck I'm gonna leave Alice all alone! She's going to be fine. I gave her some Soparil. She'll just be sleeping like Quark. I don't care! I just... I just want to stay with her. Are we gonna ally or betray? I don't know. I don't even know who we're against. What the teams are. She shouldn't have to be all by herself. Everything's coming up Sigma, huh? What a lucky, lucky man you are. Okay, so we must be against Clover. Knowing that. What he just said. Um. Man, I just wrote these down for the next round, which didn't even happen because we the route ended too soon. Uh, Sigma, Clover, plus Alice. Are we with are we with Alice? You two are going to be playing against Clover. Who's you two? If she doesn't vote, then she'll default to Ally. That means if she stays here, the two of you are going to be sitting pretty. Especially you, Sigma. After all, you've got six BP right now. Thanks, Dio. Are you saying I'm gonna choose Betray? If you do, you'll get what you need to escape. You bastard. There's no way I'd do that. Is that so? Yes, it is so. For one, I'm not the only one making this decision. Luna's my part. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Luna's my partner. She'll be in the AB room with me. You really think she'd just stand by and let me do something like that? Back me up here, Luna. Um, well. Actually, I was planning to let you make the decision. See? Told you. You can lie to us if you want, but you can't lie to yourself. Shut up! Um, if I might make a suggestion, what if Sigma and Luna both remained here? Should all three of you abstain, then you would all be guaranteed to ally. Correct? So trusting. She is best girl. Apparently. Nope, doesn't work like that. Why not? Here, take a look at this. Huh? What's this? This is just the rule that says, uh, you can't, not all, someone has to vote. There wasn't anything like this in the pantry. Nothing in the garden, either. Hmm. I guess they only put one in the archives. Whatever. I'll just read it for you. Not voting's not an option. Someone has to vote. Okay. Get it? The whole team can't abstain. That means either Dio or Tenmyoji is going to have to vote then. And they're playing against Alice. Oh. I guess playing against is a little generous. Alice, Dio, and Tenmyoji. I wish I had this. Uh, and Quark's a solo, right? So Alice is guaranteed to vote ally, which means that if Dio picks Betray... Now knock it off. You trying to get back at me for what I said earlier? No way am I going to choose Betray. Dio's at six. Ten Miyoji's at... One? Oh, gosh. Maybe I don't care what point totals are. You do know where BP's at one, right? What do you think would happen to her if I did that? She's gonna die. I wouldn't put it past you. What? Cool it, boys. Don't worry. I'm gonna be in that room, too. I planned to stay here with Quark, just to make sure he was safe. But it doesn't look like I'm gonna have that luxury. 
I can't trust Dio to make a decision for all three of us. That means we're gonna be sharing a room, bucko. Bucko. Dio always chooses betrayal. It's true. I've got my eye on you. Happy now, Sigma? <laughs> yeah, thanks. That's a relief. Exactly. Oh, man. Everybody's against me. Whatever shall I do? Can't be too careful. I wouldn't want to see Alice killed by an unfortunate accident. What do you mean, accident? Oh, Tenmyoji, before we went into the CDs, you told Alice there was something you wanted to tell her. Um, what was it? Huh? Oh, that, uh... Well, I mean, look, it wasn't important. Just forget about it. Ha! Huh. Okay, so remember Tenmyoji wanted to talk to Alice and Clover? And he knew what Ice Nine was. This is these are some of the important things that we know of Tenmyoji. And he's also connected to the old woman in some Five way. Five minutes remain until Avidex game polling closes. Time's running out, people. Clover and I will stay here and keep an eye on Alice and Quark. Everyone else needs to go. What? You're staying too? Yeah. Something does happen. Clover might need a hand. Aren't you a solo? You're playing against K and Quark. Oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, Quark, and then this is Phi. All right, all right, all right. So we have six. She's Aline. Uh, Dio was also with Quark, so he's at six. Clover was with K in the first round against Ten Miyoji. We don't know any of their point values. I don't think. You're playing against K and Quark, but with Quark out, that means K would get to decide this whole round. Are you saying that you trust me? Yes. Even though I have six BP. Okay, got it. So these are all the. Uh, whoops. Luna's at one then. Okay. Ooh. What? K would definitely betray here. Um. Ten Miyoji. I think. I think they're gonna ally. Uh, we're, Clover's gonna stay here, she's allying. We're gonna ally. We're gonna ally first, at least. Yes. Whoa, whoa, what happens when he gets 9 BP? I'm not worried. K won't betray me. How can you know that? I just know, I guess. You just know? What the fuck is wrong with you? Has she seen the future? Has she already been down this timeline? Had something happened between Fi and K while they were out exploring? I understand. I can hardly betray trust like that, can I? I will vote for our team. Good. We're counting on you. <sighs> I've had enough of this bullshit. What? Do, I feel like Dio is gonna Four win. Four minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. Like, I think this could go either way. Like, if Dio just overpowers Tenmyoji, this is definitely gonna be a betray, and Alice is gonna die. Come on, we need to hurry. Hmm. All right, you kids. Take care of those two, okay? Of course. We promise. With that, we are off. I give one last quick nod to Fi and Clover before heading back to the for the warehouse at a dead run. It's not even that far. You have five minutes. You have plenty of time. literally like one room away it takes five ever to get all right all right nice one that was good i'll give you that one everybody ready i'm going to open my ab gate although i guess that doesn't really matter deal already opened one earlier then only you and i remain right okay let's go Two more AB gates slid open. We all shared one last look at each other before ducking into our respective rooms. So Fi's AFK, Clover's AFK, Quark, and 
uh, Alice are AFK. So all the solos are gone. Okay. Good to know. Time to be friends. Well, I'm gonna ally. I'll ally here. I really will. Two minutes remain until Ambidick's game polling closes. What are you going to do? I mean, how are you going to vote? <laughs> no question. If Clover isn't voting, then she's defaulting to ally. Betraying someone who isn't even playing hardly seems fair. Of course, I think so too. I'm just glad to hear you say it. Ah, oh, this is going to make it more painful when we betray later. <laughs> For the completion. Luna's face broke into a warm, happy smile. Not to be sappy, but it was like a ray of sunshine on a cloudy day. I grinned back at her before I knew what I was doing. For a minute, the nonary game didn't seem so scary. Then she spoke. Sigma, what's wrong with your hand? Oh, I, I forgot I cut it. Huh? There's something white on it. Wait, why is there white on it? There's what? Wait, what? What the hell is this? Wait, what is this? What happened to my blood? <gasps> Am I a golem? Hang on. All right, let's keep going for a second. For the first time since I'd found Alice in the crew course, I looked down at my hand. Across the palm was some sort of strange white liquid. For a moment, I thought I'd somehow touched some white paint or something similar. But the truth was far stranger. The liquid is coming from my hand. I'm a golem. I'm a golem. I knew it. It was coming from the cut I'd given myself. That mean that maybe that just means Fi's a golem too. Maybe that's why we can keep our memories. Hey, Darren. Thanks for the sub. Thank you for the year. I really appreciate it. How you doing? How have you been, man? Welcome in. It was coming from this cut I'd given myself when I grabbed the scalpel away from Alice. But why? I'm not a natural person. Thank me for the year. No way, dude. <laughs> Where was the blood? How have you been? I'm a golem. I'm not real person. I felt a very odd sort of fear begin to wrap its hand around my throat. Quickly, I held my palm against my chest. I shouldn't have let Luna see that. Are you alright? Lots of changes. Uh, do tell if you're comfortable. Same. Let me tell you. Uh, maybe you haven't heard, but I'm unemployed right now. <laughs> I, my, this past Friday was the last day at my job, and it was my decision to leave. Uh, and I'll be taking a little bit of a break. Fun employed, indeed. Yeah, so. Taking a little break. No work. Just been doing other stuff, you know? But yeah. That's uh, that's definitely the biggest update in my life right now. Are you alright? Yeah, it's nothing. I went to a pantry while I was looking for Alice. I went to the pantry while I was looking for Alice. There was some milk and I spilled it. Uh, right. Okay. I sounded even stupider- that sounded even stupider as I said it. Really? Yeah. But- Just shut up! It's fine, alright? I'm fine. Leave me alone! New job- new place job is going good. Small promotion, much like- Oh, nice! Good job! That's awesome! Congratulations! New furniture, new girlfriend, went to Mall of America. Oh, you went to, uh, Minneapolis. How was that? I like the Mall of America. Pretty fun. Enjoy my free time. Thank you, I appreciate it. Dang, lots of stuff, though. Uh, is you enjoying your new place, then? Well, out of all the white liquids out there, I'm saying- I guess saying milk is better than alternatives. Wow. I never thought you'd go there, right, Chana? <laughs> I regretted the words the moment they were out of my mouth, but something was wrong. Very wrong. And my head was spinning. Sigma? Oh, man. I'm so sorry. I just- it's- just don't worry about it, okay? 30 seconds remain. Until polling closes. Alright. There was no time left. I had to vote. 
I turned and faced the machine. I took a few deep breaths, but the chaos in my mind refused to calm down. Calm down, just calm down. Love the new place, that's awesome. So why did you go to, uh, did you go to the Mall of America just for fun? You don't live near there anymore. You didn't move it near over there, did you? You need to think about the AB game right now. Just forget about your hand. I'm a golem. Who is I kidding? There's no way I could forget about something like that. Ten seconds remain until Ambidex game polling closes. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One. Mostly to go to the underwater tunnel thing, since seeing the sharks Round and all that. Two of the Ambidex game nice, that sounds has awesome. Been completed. Results will be displayed. That would make a good day. Warehouse. That is. Wait. You don't live near there, though, right? That, that would make a good day. Isn't that a very far date? Thank you for your participation. Ambidex Gates. Now opening. Luna and I stepped out of the AB room. I could see the others filing out of their rooms as we did. So you chose Ally after all. <laughs> okay. I don't... Oh, you do live near. Oh, very nice. That's exciting. Okay. This might be completely nothing. But something I've noticed in this stream... In particular maybe it's been doing this the whole time but I feel like the transitions between the screens have been like the squish transition and then it, it looks like a simulation during that time or something like that it almost looks like a computer uh, transition screen transition I don't know if that's anything I don't know if it's been doing that the whole game but I've noticed it here a lot yeah to be honest the AB game was the last thing on my mind as chaotic as my thoughts were, they all centered on one thing. The mysterious white liquid. Uh, Darren, do you, did you enjoy, uh, what's the park in the mall? Is that just what it's called? The park in the mall? It used to be called Camp Snoopy. But I've, they definitely changed it. Funny, you notice that too, but you'll be honest, you tend to listen to the stream mostly? Gotcha. I'm not sure. Do you want to go see the results? <laughs> sure. Luna nodded and walked off toward the projection, but I couldn't move. I glanced around to make sure no one was watching and opened my hand. This liquid didn't seem to have clotted or run out, since it was still oozing thickly out of the slit of, out of the slit in my hand. <laughs> what in the hell is this? It couldn't be blood, could it? No, that was impossible. No matter how many white blood cells clumped together, you'd never get anything that looked like that. And I'd never seen my blood do this before. In 22 years of life, I'd seen my body bleed many times. Scraped knees as a kid, accidental next with a knife as an adult. But every single time, I'd bled red, like any other human being. You don't know Nickelodeon something. Oh, gotcha. Huh. So why was it that this time it was white? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Scrape kids and he acted on next with a knife as an adult, but every single time it bled red like any other human being. So, he became a golem when he when he became to the, came to this facility. And then the real Sigma is in K. Maybe that's a real Sigma. Maybe that's also a golem. I don't know. What the hell is happening to me? Because we know hey, that K. Sigma, what are you doing? We know that K, the person under K's suit armor or whatever, looks just like Sigma. Get the hell over here! They're gonna show the results! <laughs> yeah, right. On my way. I did my best to compose myself and headed over to join the others. I have a feeling that the game's gonna be over here. Results from round two of the Ambidex game will now be displayed. Please direct your attention to the results screen. All right, okay, good job. Oh, nice. Oh. 
Woo! They wouldn't betray, apparently. We did it! Wow! Okay, Th this was the only decision I wasn't sure about. Um, I wasn't sure if this was going to be an ally or betray here. But looks like Tenmyoji and Dio did pull through for Alice. That's awesome. Good job, everyone. So let's uh erase this. Let's write down the point totals again. It's important to know them. Oh, I wrote I wrote betray for K and Quark. Oh, five did ally. It's amazing. Never mind. My apologies, K, for doubting you. All right, all allies, all good. So I'm at eight, Luna's at seven, Phi's at, oh wait, wait, no, this is K and Quark, this isn't me. I was gonna say, Luna's at not at seven, huh? I'm at, oh, Luna is at seven. Luna's at, I'm at eight, Luna's at seven, Clover's at points eight. have been okay. assigned or subtracted accordingly. Tenmyoji's at three. Tenmyoji's at three. Dio's at seven. Alice is at three. I thought I thought Dio would be at seven. Huh, okay. Never mind. Five's at eight. K's at eight. Quark's at eight. Or er, seven. Okay. Good. No one's at nine. Please check your bracelet. That was really hard for some reason. Updated bracelet points. This is incredible. Look, everyone voted ally. Was this the first time? Or is this the second time? Has this ever happened? You did just like you promised, Kay. How could I choose Betray after what Phi said to me? Good job. Good job, Kay. Ten Miyoji and Dio voted ally too. Of course. If we hadn't, Alice would have died. Yeah, well, that's about it, I guess. You think it's the first time, but it might be the second time? I think it's the first. I feel like it's the first. We should thank the both of you as well. I'm happy to see you also chose ally. Oh, I didn't have anything to do with it. That was all Sigma. Let me do, let me do the Luna right here. The Luna position, which makes zero sense, practically speaking. And thank you very much, Sigma. Sigma? Sigma, are you all right? Uh oh, am I dead? Come on, what's wrong? Just say something. <laughs> huh? Oh, yeah, um, looks like we all allied. That's great. Sigma, what the hell's wrong with you? Yeah, you've been acting a little out of it ever since we came out of the AB rooms. What happened? You make it pass at Luna and get shot down? <laughs> no, nothing like that. Hey, man, it was a joke. You remember what that is? A joke? You're in pretty bad shape, huh? Am I? I'm not suffering from radicals. I'm just, like, messed up from the cut still and white blood. Before Dio could continue, the heavy metal rumble of doors shutting echoed through the warehouse. The Ambidex gates have closed. Round three of the Ambidex game will be the star round. Star keys are required to open the gates. There is no set limit on usage of the star keys. The Ambidex gates can be opened as many times as the players wish to open them. We can open the gates as many times as we want to? Then that means... We can play the AB game as many times as we like, right? Hey, Zero Junior said something about this, didn't he? As soon as the gates close, your colors get all shuffled up automatically! <laughs> the pair... Yeah, right. Sorry to be a pain, but uh, could you all show me your bracelets? I want to see what all your colors and assignments are. Everyone nodded and held their arms out toward him. I stared at them, terrified to follow suit, but certain that refusing would only draw more suspicion. So I held my white... I said I held my arm out, hand tightened into a white knuckled fist to hide the cut. When their eyes landed on my hand, my heart skipped a beat. I'm a 
cyan pair. Huh. Okay. Oh, that's not me. So Dio and K are a yellow pair. Luna and I are both pairs, but our colors are different. Right. You're a cyan, and I'm magenta. That makes Sigma the only solo, huh? A red solo. So what are the four we left in the infirmary? Luna and I are pairs, so two of them are our partners. That means the other two are solos. Although, I guess we don't know what colors they are. They're probably green and blue. All right, more color theory? Why's that? Didn't you see there are? They have to be. Oh, yes. Fi and I's on our way back from the garden with the unconscious quark. And there they were. Why did I update the point totals when the pairs are going to be mixed up? I'm a fool. Each one had given that. Those white doors are our next set of... I think that our bracelet combinations will have to add... The pairs are cyan, you see? Yeah. If we need... Right. Okay. Good. Now that we've got that figured out, I'm heading back to the infirmary for a bit. I want to check up on Quark and Alice. I shall accompany you then. Might as well go with you, I guess. No real reason to hang out here. Well, what will you two do? I... I need to talk to Sigma about something. The white blood. <laughs> about what? Something. Her usual pleasant expression had been replaced with something much more sullen. She must have noticed that there was something wrong with me. That was what she wanted to talk about. I was sure of it. <laughs> okay, fine. I managed to make my voice sound almost relaxed. Whoa, hold on. A private talk? What are you guys plotting? We're not plotting anything. I promise. It's nothing. <laughs> Fine, what else? See if I care. Dio tossed his head with a mixture of arrogance and feigned disinterest and marched out the yellow door. Tenmyoji and Kei quickly followed. In only moments, all three had disappeared. <laughs> All right, here we go. So, uh, what was it you wanted to talk about? Obviously. It was almost certain I knew, but there was always hope. I did my best to act as if I was genuinely confused. Oh, um, I don't really like this room. Could we go somewhere else? Am I going to die? Um, okay. Good. I found somewhere nice when I was looking for Alice earlier. The bee garden. We're going to the bee garden. As strange as her request was, I had no reason to object. So I kept my mouth shut and followed Luna as she headed off. The garden. You know this place? Yes, well, sort of. I came here once when I was looking for Alice. Oh, I see. So, uh, what brings you here? Isn't this nice? This is the only place in the whole facility with anything green. I feel kind of silly saying it, but it makes me think of the great outdoors. I think it's the perfect place for a serious conversation. Being surrounded by nature makes me feel happy. <laughs> oh, there's a bench Monk over there. Ass. <laughs> Would you like to sit down with me? She sat down softly and gently, and I lowered myself down next to her. So, what do you want to talk to me about? Instead of answering, Luna lifted the tiny birdcage pendant she wore into the palm of her hand. She was silent for a moment and then began to talk. Can I tell you something? This is actually a music box. Oh, that's sick. <laughs> really? Yes. She twisted the key on the bottom and it made an almost imperceptible wind winding sound. When she released it, soft, clear notes drifted out. It's a nice song. Why'd you bring that up, though? Because I... wanted you to know, I guess. I wanted you to know more about me. Maybe it's because I'm so shy. But I don't really have any friends. Or even any acquaintances, really. Oh, that's sad. So I've sort of always been alone. It was really hard. I felt so lonely a lot of the time. And it... it hurt. It felt like I was just kind of going to... collapse from the inside out. That was when I got this music box. Someone very important gave it to me. 
They didn't say anything, but I felt like there was an unspoken message behind it. Luna, happiness is closer than you think. What a weird message. How'd you get that from getting the music box? Do you know Materlinks the bluebird? Nope. <laughs> yeah. Okay, apparently I do. Well, I know the gist of it. I think it starts on Christmas Eve. This brother and sister named Tiltil and Middle, Middle, Tidal, Tiltil, Tiltil, Middle. I don't know. Get asked to find a blue bird by this old woman, and they travel to the dream world, or something. Anyway, supposedly, if you can catch this bird, then you can make a wish come true. So they visit all these different places, but they can't find it. Eventually, they give up and go home. But when they wake up. The bird is in a birdcage in their hut. That's right. It's a well-known story, and it teaches a simple lesson. Yeah, like you said, happiness is closer than you think. Right. It got me thinking. Maybe the person who gave me this music box was trying to tell me just that. I don't know if that's true. Maybe all of this is just in my head, but I really felt like that was what they'd meant. It was so... kind. I kept it with me all the time, like a kind of good luck charm. But... One day I realized something. There was another meaning to the bluebird. In Materlink's original story, it doesn't end with them waking up. There's more? Yes. When Tiltil and Nittil try to feed the bird, Til -til and it leaves the cage and flies away. And then the story ends. Whoa. What about the moral then? It changes. Now the message is that just when you think you found happiness, you lose it again. Oh, man. <laughs> I thought about that for a while, but in the end, it didn't change how I felt. I don't know what they intended it to mean when they gave it to me, but I decided how I was going to look at it. It means that happiness is something you should always be looking for, and it's only when you're pursuing happiness that you're truly happy. You know, Sigma, I think you might be Tiltil. What? You know, the boy who the old lady asked to find the bluebird on Christmas Eve. What are you trying to say? Can I ask you something? Uh, sure. Where did you find Alice? What does that have to do with anything? Okay, hang on. This is... Oh, what is happening? Just answer me. Tan Drews? What's up, dude? Where did you find Alice? Uh, oh, I just doxed you. The nerd. How you doing, dude? Welcome in. Are you working right now? I bet you are, huh? Where'd you find Alice? Dox you while wearing your company shirt. No, no, no. You can't even see it. I'm just gonna lean down. Room two in the crew quarters. Where were you before that? I was in the lounge. That was after we split up to go look for Alice. You're off work. Nice. How have you been, dude? The first place I went was... Did you end up using the money that I sent? For the company money. <laughs> the BT money. The, yeah. The first place I went was a lounge. So you went from the lounge to the crew quarters. Very nice. Where you, you got, got five Alice. So you went from the lounge of the crew quarters where you found Alice, right? And then you rushed her to the infirmary, right? Right. Yeah. Okay. Tell me this then. How do you know about the garden? Oh. 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 Some other people use the rest? Alright, good. Good. Just now, you said you'd come here when you were looking for Alice. So I've never been here in this timeline, but she knows she and she knows I've never been here in this timeline. Very interesting, okay? Didn't you? That doesn't make any sense. There wouldn't have been any time for you to visit the garden while you were looking for Alice. So tell me, Sigma, how do you know about this place? Well, um I didn't know what to say. I couldn't even explain it to myself. Why had I told her I knew about the garden? Why had I told her I'd been here before? Sigma, are you... Are you a 
are robot? Can you mm. only speak me? This is an awkward question, because I actually do think I'm basically a robot. <laughs> we were bleeding white earlier. We weren't bleeding red. I think I am a robot, but we're not actually sure yet. Um, what? See, it would make so much sense if you were. That would explain why you knew about the garden, and, and it would explain that cut on your left hand. Luna, you can't just ask if someone is a robot. That's rude. It's true. <laughs> it hurts my feelings. And robots don't have feelings, so I'm not a robot. Damn. So you did see it, huh? Yes. I've been told that robots these days have what's called artificial biological tissue, or ABT, on top of a metal skeleton. Obviously. I mean, who doesn't hear about that nowadays? It makes them look almost exactly like a human. And ABT uses this white liquid instead of blood. For some reason, when Luna had called me a robot, it hadn't really phased me. Maybe because it was just so... out there. It didn't sound like a real possibility. It sounded more like a theory you'd get from someone in a nuthouse. Still. My hand was still oozing white liquid. Was I really a robot? No, that was impossible. I needed to stop doing that. Questioning myself so much was giving me heart palp palpitations. Luna, aren't you a little scared? Scared? Why would I be scared? Well, let's say I am a robot. That means there's a plenty there's a pretty good chance Zero is pulling my strings. That would make me your enemy. Oh, I guess so. Well, even if you were, I wouldn't be scared. Why not? Hmm. Maybe because you're a robot. Interesting. Heart palpitations. Funny thing to say as a robot. True. I'm not a robot, right guys? Copium? Huh. Have you ever huh? heard of the three laws of robotics? Oh man, I, I feel like I know this from iRobot or something. I don't know. They were a set of rules created by the science fiction author Isaac Asimov that he used in several of his stories. Rule one, a robot may not injure a human being or through inaction, allow human being to come to harm. Rule two, a robot must obey any orders given to it by human beings, except when such orders would conflict with the first law. Rule three, a robot must protect its own existence as long as such protection does not conflict with the first or second laws. We need one of those I'm not a robot checkers. Ah, true. Here we need a captcha. The first rule is, you do not speak of the Robot Fight Club. Welcome in, Inuyasha. A good afternoon qua to you. Thanks for being here. Oh yeah, I've heard those before. That's just an ideal, though. I think I'm a robot, Inuyasha. I think I'm a golem. You could work toward that, but I don't think you could ever actually achieve it. I mean, depending on how you program them, robots could do pretty much whatever they wanted to. Yes, you're right. But I believe in them. In you. Wait, she's already saying I'm a robot. What did you miss? Uh, this stream? We talked to Phi. Uh, let me show you the flowchart. So we went this route, uh, where, so Phi, uh, Phi got nine points and no one else got nine points and she was planning to leave. But we convinced her to stay, uh, and wait for everyone else to get nine points. And so we found... We know where bombs one, two, and three are right now in this route. And, and she also knows that we are, she also knows our consciousness, consciousness changes timelines. Like uh, we can, we can keep our memories through the different timelines, just like she can. So we've learned that too. However you're programmed, I don't think you'd break any of the three laws. A robot without the three laws is just a bunch of metal and plastic. That's not you. You have a heart. <laughs> Alright, Luna. You're a good person. It's in your eyes. It's in my robot eyes. Well, I guess I'm just kind of assuming you're a robot. I think you're right. I think I'm a robot. I actually do. There's still a chance you're not. We should run some tests. Yes. Tests? Um, how? Well, the Atom should be able to tell us. Interesting. Oh yeah, that thing in the infirmary. I heard the crunch of dried leaves behind us. But when I turned around, there is nothing. We should run some tests, some CAPTCHA tests. I am not a robot. 
Who is it? Is is someone there? Just me. Sorry, but can you guys come over here? I need you to see something. Luna and I looked at one another, shrugged, and stepped into the bushes. Welcome. What? How long have you been here? I just got here a little while ago. Did you hear what we were saying? No. Were you talking about something you didn't want me to know about? Whatever. Just have a look at this. The bomb? Did we find a bomb? I followed the line of her finger. Yep, okay. The number one bomb. Shit! This, this is... An antimatter bomb? Exactly. I'm pretty sure someone didn't move it here from the crew quarters. In fact, I'm pretty sure it's an entirely different bomb. I mean, if it has a different number, it's probably a different bomb. The one in the crew quarters is a number three bomb. Look at the number on the side. Right, okay. It says one. And the one in the crew quarters said three, right? Then that must mean... Shit. Then there's no question, huh? I've got more good news. Just think about the numbers for a moment. You're saying there's a two bomb out there somewhere? We know where that one is. Uh, the two bomb is in the control room. I can't be sure, but it does seem pretty likely. Damn it. That means we're dealing with a com combined explosive power equal to three tons of TNT. Yeah. Who planted them? Was it you guys? I mean... You've been in here quite a while. They should release three bombs labeled one, two, and four. And then the next bomb's gonna be eight? <laughs> hey, don't give me that. You're way more suspicious than we are. What were you doing in the bushes anyway? Well, uh, I was taking a walk. All right, Fi. Taking a walk? You really think I'm gonna buy that? Fine. You got me. I heard you two were off talking in secret, so I got curious and went back to the Floor A warehouse. Of course you weren't there. That seemed pretty suspicious to me, so I headed here. Just leaves everybody freaking out about number three. Oh, that'd be really funny. That would be really funny. And just as I'd suspected- That'd be such a troll move. There you were, talking on the bench. I snuck up from behind so you wouldn't notice me. Then, just as I was getting close enough to hear, I found the bomb. So? So, I mean, it might have been there when we got in got in, and we just didn't notice it. Believe me now? So, who planted the bomb? Honestly, it could have been any one of us. Anybody could have come here while we were all looking for Alice. We need to tell everyone about this then. Yeah, you're right. Let's head back to the infirmary. Everyone else was already there when we arrived. Clover and Tenmyoji. K and Dio. And of course, Alice and Quark. Both seem to be sleeping peacefully. You'd never think to look at them that, look at them that they'd been completely insane not long, not so long ago. All right, everybody, listen up. I told them how we found the number one bomb in the garden, and how, judging by the numbering on the two bombs we've found so far, there's probably a number two bomb out there somewhere. Oh, this is bad. What are we going to do? Well, I think Alice mentioned something. There should be an emergency deactivation password. If you enter that password, the device should, well, deactivate. You see it right here. There's a port. If we can find the password input device, we just connect it here. Then we can enter the password. So if we have the password, we can deactivate them? Oh, whoa, hold on a second. That's great and all, but we need that password input device she was talking about. Without that, we're still boned even if we did have the password. We've already heard this before, today even. Yeah. That's why I want all of you to let me search you. I beg your pardon? <laughs> You heard me. Chances are whoever planted those bombs is in this room. There's also a good chance they've also got the device we need to deactivate the bombs. So you're planning to search us for it? Exactly. But... No buts. If you refuse, then I'll assume it's because you've got it and you planted the bombs. Unless you want that, I suggest you cooperate. Clear? 
Good. Now who's going to be first? Hmm. Dude, why don't I just volunteer? Surely I'm innocent. Got to get the ball rolling somehow. Huh? You only need to search one person. What? Why? Wait, we have the same outcome. Because I figured out who did it. I I know who did it. The words were out of my mouth before I'd even realized I was saying them. How can you? There's no way. Yeah, I met Fi's gaze and nodded, then turned away. I know who set the bombs. The person is. My oven's going off. It is self-cleaning, but I didn't know if it'd go off. All right, stand by. I need to see the end of this. The person, you did it. All right, to be continued again. The room was suddenly silent. To be continued again. It's the exact same thing we just ran into. I said objection the first time, Inuyasha. You can't make the same joke. No, I know you weren't there for that. Be right back. I need to check my oven. All right, uh, apparently the oven was just finished cleaning. Great. All right. Do I really want to start another route? So, so these have the exact same, who planned the bomb? Who planned the bomb? Uh, hmm. Should I go here? Oh, we so, we don't have that many options. Maybe just show you because that would be quick. All right, fair enough. And we'll just call it there after that. That's a good idea, Raichana. All right, I'm sorry, Luna. I'm sorry for betraying your trust. Luna tells me very explicitly here that I should be outlined. And then her... Two minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. And I also... And I also... Uh... Yeah, because no new notes ever appear. Right, right, yeah, true, Inuyasha. But, um, um, well, the thing is that if I betray, then I have nine points, so maybe I escape or something, or try to escape. Maybe I die. I don't know. But, anyways, uh, Luna very explicitly tells me here that going to do? I should ally, and that I'd say that her her smile is so warm, and it feels like a very sunshine, and then I betray her. I mean, so, how great. are you going to vote? No question. If Clover isn't voting, then she's defaulting to ally. Betraying someone who isn't even playing hardly seems fair. Of course, I think so too. I'm just glad to hear you say it. Oh, good thing I'm uh, betraying here. And then we see the white blood. I'm sorry, Alice. Forgive me. I have betrayed. I just wanted to, I just wanted to get a little bit uh give a little bit of context about why I was so sad about this uh Raichana. I know I'm evil. And I'm just doing it for the completion. It has to be done. Luna and I stepped out of the AB room. I could see the others filing out of their rooms as we did. Oh, she's why? so sad. I'm sorry, Luna. I didn't have an answer for her. All I could think about was that white liquid. What was it? Some kind of discharge? Blood? No. It couldn't be blood. Blood wasn't white. That was insane. I, I was lost in thought when Luna spoke. Um, I'm going to the infirmary. Oh, she's so mad. The game made me do it. It's true. Huh? Don't you want to see the results? Why? I already know what they're going to be. Dang, she's so mad. Her usually warm personality seemed to have gone cold. Whether it was because I chose to betray or because she noticed that something was wrong with my body, I couldn't say. Excuse me. And with that, she was gone. Okay, fair enough. 
I turned back to the projection. With heavy steps, I headed toward K, Dio, and Tenmyoji. Results from round two of the Ambidex game will now be displayed. You know how it's going to... Oh, wait. Oh, I guess this doesn't matter, but... Um, oh, okay. I'll just say this is easy, 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 easy. Everyone allies except me. I'm bad. Please direct your attention to the results screen. Oh, brutal. Brutal. So now I can leave. Points have been assigned or subtracted accordingly. Ah, oh, so evil, I know. Please check your bracelet to see your updated bracelet points. What the hell? Sigma has 9 BP? See? I told you! The bastard's finally showing his true colors. What the hell are you doing? Clover isn't even voting! I have misjudged you. I never thought you would do something so cowardly. Dang. Alright, Kay. I mean, you're right, though. Brutal. It hurts. There's nothing I could say. I had chosen betray of my own volition. But had I really? Had I really pressed that button of my own free will? No, that was me. That wasn't you, Sigma, actually. The more I thought about it, the more I felt as if someone other, some other force had guided my hand to the button. Interesting. Is this going to break the fourth wall? Perhaps, had it, perhaps it had been fear? I was scared by the white fluid that had appeared on my palm. Maybe that had been the tipping point, and I had decided that I could had to escape as soon as possible. Damn the consequences. If I got out, then the nightmare would be over. That, that's all it was, right? A nightmare. It couldn't be real. White blood was insane. Impossible. That was when I looked up and saw the others staring at my hand. Shit! I quickly put my hand behind my back, but it was already too late. They moved toward me like wolves closing in for the kill. S sigma What was that? He was cut. It must have been blood. But why was it white? Isn't that obvious? He's not human. Not human. No, what are you saying? Of course I'm human. I'm 100% human. That's what a robot would say. <laughs> then explain that white stuff. Hello, fellow humans. <laughs> I swear to God, I have no idea what it is. You have to believe me. I'm afraid you're not being very convincing. Oh, you're one to talk. We can't even see you. You could be a robot. Maybe that's not even a suit. Maybe that's just you, robot you. No. That seems extremely unlikely. However bad my amnesia might be, I am quite sure of my humanity. I am, without a doubt, not a robot. They probably just programmed you to think that. All right, it's pretty obvious this guy's dangerous and probably unhinged. We should take him down. I agree. <sighs> Looks like there's no other way. Now that he's got 9 BP from stabbing Clover in the back, there's a good chance he'll try and get out of here by himself. Well, I'm quite sure of my humanity. Right, 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 right? That's what I was thinking. Like, Sigma is also sure of his humanity. I don't think it's, like, very convincing, okay? Hey, hold on a minute. Let's not do anything rash. I didn't have a choice. I spun around and ran for the number nine door. No, I don't think so. Shit, let me go. Let go of me. I was no match for all three of them. Before I could take two steps, I was on the floor, pinned. The desperation was only getting stronger, however, and I writhed and twisted in a futile, futile attempt to get free. God damn it! You have to let me go. This is all some kind of mistake, a m misunderstanding. It's it's a conspiracy. <laughs> so there's a conspiracy to turn your blood white. You're a funny guy. Stop trying to get away. It's over. Shit, get off me. Let me go. If you won't calm down, then you leave me no choice. I'd hoped we could avoid this. Try not to struggle too much. No, don't. Am I going to get knocked out? Or am I going to die? Or what? 
Oh, I'm getting knocked out. Yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. The first thing I felt when I woke up was the hard pain of a bruise all the way across my neck. K must have suffocated me. My head, felt like, my head felt like it had been stuffed with cotton, and I had to put out a hand to steady myself as I stood up. Where am I? Is this the infirmary? There's the injection gun on the floor. Why is the injection gun on the floor? How long had I been out? My foot bumped into something, and I looked down to see the injection gun. A glass vial labeled Sopril was still attached to it. Oh, they did they give me anesthesia? The anesthesiac. After choking me, they made sure I wasn't getting up in the near future. That meant I could have been asleep for a long time. Where is everyone? I glanced around the room. If no one's here to stop me, I can still leave through the number 9 door. It was empty, except for me. Someone needed to be watching me here. It took me a moment to realize what was especially odd about that. Even Quark and Alice had disappeared. What the hell's going on? That was when I noticed it. Quark and Alice weren't the only things that had disappeared. Two other things, two other very important things were also gone. My bracelet and my left- Oh, they took- they cut off my entire hand! <laughs> Holy crap! Okay. Maybe they all played the game and left without me. Yeah, apparently. For a long moment, I just stared, dumbstruck. What was I- what I was seeing couldn't possibly be real. But there it was, a smooth cross-section of my arm where a hand should have been. A thick white liquid dripped slowly from the stump. What, what is this? Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. I'm not gonna do that sound, sorry. A scream clawed its way out of my body, taking my mind with it. Then after that, nothing. Dang. Alright. Rip my hand. GG's. So does that mean if... Does that mean that I can just escape with whoever gets number 9 first? Good note to end on. Right. Okay. Uh, let's quit. All right, GGs, GGs, that was fun. Uh, some some of the summaries that happened today. We talked to Fi quite a bit. Talked about Schrodinger's cat, Schrodinger's cat, and we know that Fi's consciousness also jumps timelines just like ours. And also, we seem like a robot. Um, also, Sigma seems to know who planted the bombs, which we don't yet, because we've gotten two to be continues on on the same thing. So I want to check that out. But yeah, thanks for being here. Thanks for chilling. Uh, don't think I'm gonna raid. Yeah, it's all right. I'll be back at the latest on Saturday. Who knows? I could be. Oh no, not Saturday. I'm gone this weekend. Um, I'm gone this weekend. So I don't know when. Maybe next Saturday at the latest, but probably sooner than that because I'll want to play more of this. But yeah, GGs. Thanks for being here. Have a great rest of your week, and uh, yeah. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.